Hey guys, welcome to the next Sega CD Let's Play. And I once again apologize for uh, the epic fail that was Road Avenger, but I've checked all my other Sega CD discs, nothing else is scratched as bad as that one was. So, what are we playing this time? Well, the iconic Sonic CD. Uh, this is the American version, this isn't the Japanese or PAL version, so you're going to make do with the American music. But yeah, Sonic CD, ar uh, argued today is probably as one of the best Sonic games out there. I will agree it's one of the best, but it, it's not the best. Uh, the best, in my personal opinion, would have to be uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, just because of the storyline. Yes, there is a storyline in it. And just everything else about it. But uh, other than that, this is a really good game. You know, this is... This was the reason to get a Sega CD. Unless you were a fan of games like Sewer Shark, then, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna judge. Uh, the cool thing about this one is, uh, chronolo uh, in the timeline, this takes place before two, and it's also this game. It's also the game that features this nifty little time traveling mechanic, which we don't need a DeLorean and don't need to hit 88 miles per hour to do so, but. Hey, whatever. It's Sonic. He can he can time travel if he wants to. But the idea of the time travel is that you wanna you wanna go back into the past, so so you can basically destroy this little uh, robot generator thingy, Madu Hickey, uh, that basically uh, will kill all the robots and basically give the planet back its natural flowers. It's a really good, cool mechanic, and the game actually rewards you for doing it um, every time you do it. Uh, successfully, you, uh, you'll, uh, when you beat, yeah, I can't speak now. Whenever you do and you clear a zone, it will tell you, uh, that Sonic made a good future in whatever zone you're in. Uh, whenever you make a good future in both zones 1 and 2, then you'll have the good future, like, good future future, uh, whenever you, uh, fight against Robotnik in zone 3. And that's our goal. Not to mention, when you do it, all the enemies are dead. So, the only thing you have to worry about whenever you start doing levels is, like, the pitfalls. Or the badly placed spike traps here and there. And we do not want to go to the future. We do not want to go back to the future. However, we can't... Whoa, that was close. We can now, now that I've destroyed the robot generator. And... But never mind, because we've hit the goal, and that means we get to go through our first special stage. That's right, folks. Just like in Sonic 1, uh, to get to special stages in this game, you need to collect 50 rings and make it to the goal in one piece. It's a good concept. It's not my favorite concept, because trying to get to the end of a stage with 50 rings can be a bit... Oh. Hard. But, whatever. So, these are the special stages. You're basically running around a really nifty, uh, pseudo-3D environment, killing these large blimps. Uh, the object is to kill all of the UFOs. Wow, that sucked right there. Uh, within the time limit. Uh, anytime you touch the water, or time juice, or whatever you want to call it, it saps away time from the clock. The first time you play this, uh, trying to, uh, trying to, trying to, like, learn the sweet spot of, like, where to hit the U UFOs is, um, is a bit difficult at first. But, but once you realize, like, when you need to jump and whatnot, it's actually not that bad, and I'm failing miserably. Jesus Christ, I've never done this bad in the first special stage. Surprised the uh, blue UFO hasn't shown up yet. Because whenever you do as bad as I am... Okay, I've got to find... There it is. This little UFO will appear whenever you kill it, if I can kill it. Wow, I just failed. Holy shit, that was bad. Damn you, iMovie. This is my third recording, by the way, folks, so I'm kind of a bit antsy and pissed. Wow. Uh, as far as time stones goes, if I don't fuck up anymore, I will try to get all the time stones. I, I will seriously and honestly try. But, uh, if I can't do it, then we'll get the bad ending, and sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, 
There we go, got rid of the damn future thing, because we don't want to go to the future, we want to go to the past. Ah, oh, we love you, Spin Dash, but we also love the peel out, which makes you go insanely fast, and it's really, really epic and freaking awesome. Huh. If I can't make a good future, then by then by God, I'm gonna at least get a damn time stone. All right, I'm going into the past again, which is nice because you know I. I would I honestly would like to see another Sonic game with a time traveling mechanic that wasn't as bad or convoluted as Sonic 06's little time traveling mechanic was. Yeah, Sega, what the hell were you thinking when you made that game? Just saying. Alright, I'm trying to remember where the uh, magical the little magical um, robot thingy Madubiki is. But I've now got 50-something rings, I'm gonna... Well, there's this thing where if you destroy it, uh, animals will appear. It's not required... I mean, it's a little special thing, you don't need it to get to a... No, stop. You... You don't need it. It's, it, it's, just, it's just a nice touch for the levels, and... Where am I going? Is it up there? I've got a feeling it's up there. I've got a feeling it's up there. Good job! Good fudging job. Oh wow, I was right, it is up here. Great! Well, now let's continue on with the game and not get in our time stone. I am probably going to be beating myself over that for some time now. There's the goal, too. Well, at least I got a good future after failing miserably. Jeez, us. That was bad. Oh. I'm not striving for perfection like some people out there. Well, by, well, unlike some people try to do when they do stuff like this, but at least I'm trying, goddammit. Ugh, oh, music. Ugh, the music. Yeah, America, we got fucked over whenever we got our version of Sonic CD. Because, just, the music is so much better. And we fight a purple Robotnik boss. How do we beat this boss? He's got two springs, and he's impossible. Well, Robotnik, bro, Robotnik is cocky, and he does this. And... Now he's dead. This has got to be the easiest Robotnik boss next to the original, to the first boss in Sonic 2. And with that, that completes Palm Tree... P Palm... Ugh. Can't speak now. Palm Tree Panic. And Sonic CD. So, we are now moving on to Collision Chaos Zone, but we will save that for next time. As soon as my Sega CD will load Collision Chaos Zone and save my game. There we go. So anyway, folks, this is the beginning of Let's Play Sonic CD. I'm really looking forward to this, this is my second Sonic LP. And unlike Knuckles Chaotix, this won't uh, end up being bad because it do audio. So anyway, I will see you guys on the next part of Let's Play Sonic CD. See you guys then.